guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and it's once again time to look at my stuff. That's right, it's a haul video, but this is a special and a very long overdue haul video because this is a viewer mail toy haul. That's right, you guys out there, well, you're way, way too nice to me because you guys keep sending things to my P.O. box and it's just amazing and I really, really should be on top of this a little more than I am, but you guys know how it goes, it gets really busy. So I wanted to do this one big video. Um, it's probably gonna be a long one because I wanna get through everything that I have here. This is all stuff that's probably been sent to me since around June-ish. I think the last time I did a viewer mail video was earlier in the year. So. Uh, everything that's been coming into my P.O. box that is strictly like gift stuff, I've been keeping set aside for time when I can sit down and record this video, and well, it's really late, but here it is. Let's just dive right in, shall we? All right, I'm gonna kick this off with a box uh, that I was really excited to get. And actually, I got the heads up uh, on this via email much before I got it. So it, it sucks that I took so long to do a proper video and a proper shout out. So huge, huge thank you and shout out to Anders all the way from Norway who sent me this little treasure right here. This, if you're not familiar, is a line from Top Toys called Fuerza T, which roughly translates to the T-Force. Uh, this was a line that came out in the early 2000s from Top Toys in Argentina. Um, they are the company who originally had the license to release Masters of the Universe figures officially down in Argentina. And in the early 2000s, well, they decided to reuse those molds to make their very own toy line. It was short-lived, but it's amazing. I've talked about it a few times on the channel before, um, and he sent me a carded, a beautifully carded version of Carnivore, which is amazing. I love this line, and this is just a really cool treasure to add to my collection. So thank you, thank you so much, Anders. I love this. Okay, this next batch of stuff is some random stuff that was sent to me from Jamie in Massachusetts. Um, he actually emailed me ahead of time and basically said that he had found a bunch of his old childhood toys and he was gonna get rid of them and he decided to send them over to me, which is always super nice of people when they wanna do stuff like that. So let's see what Jamie found from his childhood toy collection. We got a lot of random bags here, so this is gonna be kind of fun to dig through. All right, so we got some little PVC Star Wars guys. Looks like maybe cake toppers? We got a Jedi Luke, a Han, a 3PO, an R2, and a Chewbacca. Oh, that was a horrible Wookiee impersonation. Woody! Is this the uh, is this the old Burger King ones? No, because the Burger King ones talk. This one doesn't have a talk box in it. Uh, yeah, there's no tag on it, but that's nice. That's just a cool little stuffed Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. I know the shark did that in the movie. That's one of my favorite scenes, though. Hi, I'm Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Uh-huh, uh-huh, give me that. Oh, this is awesome. So this is like a little wind-up Mickey ears. I've never seen this before. I, there's no date on it. It's definitely, that's definitely some older Mickey artwork. It almost looks 80s-ish. Um, but this is awesome because you know, me and my wife were both Disney fans, especially Disney Parks fans. Um, so that's a really cool little, uh, little piece to add to the collection. I love that. Oh, now this is awesome. Do you guys remember this? Action League, now! Was it The Flesh? Meltman? Stinky Diver? And was it, was it Thunder Girl? Is that her name? So this was from uh, a fun little segment on uh, Nickelodeon in the 90s. Kablam was a show. I loved Kablam. And I especially loved Action League Now because it was basically just like a silly little show where they used action figures. These came from Burger King. Um, and these are awesome because I haven't seen these in years. Uh, fun tidbit, when I first started my uh, working my very first job when I was a teenager was at Burger King and the week that I started at Burger King these were the toys that were in the kids meal it's probably been since I was 15 16 years old since I've seen these so that's awesome and this last bag is pretty sweet we've got 
Darkwing Duck Villains from the Playmates Toys line. I love this, and I didn't even have two of these guys. Uh, so these are awesome. So thanks, Jamie. I appreciate you thinking of me uh, when finding some old treasures like this. This next thing was a cool little care package set from Ninja Toidles. Uh, if you've not seen Ninja Toidles, well, they make enamel pins. And they've got some really, really rad Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles based enamel pins, like this classic Pizza Points one. Or this foot soldier getting thrown at the screen from Turtles in Time. These are awesome, and they also sent me a cool little cup. Uh, they just were nice enough to like reach out and say they wanted to send me some of their things because they're a fan of my stuff, and I got some stickers in there as well, and I love collecting enamel pins, so thank you guys very much. Check them out, check them out on Instagram, Ninja Toidles. You got some pretty cool stuff. This next envelope comes from my good buddy Kevin over at SEO Toy Review. He always, sends me cool stuff. He's such a good dude. Um, but he said that he got an extra case of the FYE exclusive Masters of the Universe pint size heroes. So he sent along some of his doubles that I did not have since I did not open the FYE exclusive versions of these guys. Um, so these were blind bagged. I did a video on them if you want to check them out. But Faker, Evelyn, Stratos were not included in the regular retail release. They were FYE exclusives. So thank you, Kevin. This is really going to help me round out my collection. I really appreciate it. We got another package from far, far away, a far away land. Looks like this one comes from the Great White North, from Canada. So let's read the letter inside. It says, hey, Pixel Dan, longtime subscriber, Matt, AKA Mouse on YouTube. What's up, Matt, AKA Mouse? Says, I just wanted to send a little thank you for all of your entertaining videos over the years. I found you long ago for your reviews, but I enjoy all of your content looking back on vintage and retro nostalgia to conventions, toy hunts, and all the things to come. That is so great to hear. Thank you so much for sticking around all this time. Says, I was inspired by the video you did of cheap dollar and discount store toys. I remember being, I remember them being a lot more bootlegs or ripoff brand style toys in the 80s and 90s than they are now. And you're totally right. I, I remember that too. Says, I thought I'd send you a few things from my local Dollarama here in Canada. I have had a few review videos myself, but it just, but just like being part of the collector community on YouTube. Anyways, best wishes to you and your family. P.S. I found an old He-Man book in an antique store and I knew it'd be right up your alley. Oh my gosh, Matt! I'm excited to check this stuff out. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Well, first things first, he's got this extra little package in here that says Dino Egg for Spencer. So he was kind enough to send a dino egg toy to my son, Spencer. Thank you. I'm going to give this to him and let him open this up. Uh, but I guarantee he's going to really appreciate and love this. So thank you so much. All right, let's see what all we got in this box. Oh yeah, so we got the Caverns of Fear, Masters of the Universe Golden Book. I love the Golden Books. I love the artwork on these. So this is up my alley. Thank you so much, Matt. And let's see what he found at his local Dollarama. Ooh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles tattoos. Wow, two of the uh, the Rip Spin Warriors figures from Mattel. Uh, I never did pick any of these up. So these are at the dollar store, I guess now, huh? That makes sense. So look, we got Raphael from Ninja Turtles and we got Ryu from Street Fighter. This one opened up in the box, so we're gonna look at it real quick, just because I've never seen these before. Well, I mean, I've seen them, but I've never, I've never held them before. So, uh, okay, we got an arm that plugs in here. We got like a Hadouken that plugs in over here. That's so funny that one of his arms is just a fireball. So this is what, this is what the figure looks like. And I think these are basically like little spin fighter dudes. They have these little rip cords that you do that and then they bobble around and they beat each other up. <laughs> but that's awesome. And I got a Raphael too, sweet. Oh, couple of blind bag toys. All right, so we got a Super Mario blind bag toy from Tomy. Let's open this up. Oh man, these, these Tomy blind bags, I feel like they're like, they really don't want you breaking in there. You need scissors to open these up. Ha ha, got it. And I got, oh, it's, it's a ring. It's a What Up Mushroom Ring, yeah! And we got a Ninja Turtles Ushis. Still wearing the ring. All right, what'd we get? Ooh, we got what? It's called Hologram Raphael, because he's translucent. 
Sweet, my favorite turtle, and he's translucent. Super win. And last, but definitely not least, he knows me well. My favorite treat from Canada, coffee crisps. Oh my God, this is the greatest candy bar ever made. Thank you so much for all the amazing stuff. I, I seriously appreciate it. All right, moving down the line, we got another box here with a big old note that says, Dear Pixel Dan, myself and my roommate Justin are very big fans of your videos, and we always watch them to calm down after a hard day of work at Applebee's. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad I can help you relax after a hard day of work. Seriously, you guys work hard at restaurants like Applebee's. I guarantee it. So I'm glad I can help make your day a little bit better. It says, We have traveled the land to come to the toy show because we saw them, we saw it in your videos. I'm sure that we will have a good time. Uh, we have gathered many things here in a box that we hope you will enjoy. I also drew you and colored some pictures. I did not have time to color Anakin. I really hope that you like them and that you will look at the stuff on your channel. Uh, this says, thank you and I hope you like it. Love, Mark and my roommate, Justin. Um, and then he added this extra piece that says, I carried it the whole show but couldn't find you. Oh, I feel so bad, Mark. So I'm assuming he's talking about the Kane County Toy Show or the Toy Man Toy Show. And it's just, I haven't had time to get to those toy shows for a while, so I'm really sorry that I missed you, man. But thank you for sending this nonetheless. Um, so look at that, we got a sweet, sweet monster. It's the undersea monster from uh, episode one. <laughs> nice, beautifully colored. And check out this sweet artwork of me and Stina and my boy, Lil Spencer there. I love it. Thank you so much for the fan art. And there's all kinds of goodies in this box. So let's see what we've got here. Tissue paper, bubble wrap, yeah. So we got a little Mighty Morphin Power Ranger little dude. Awesome. Oh, we got a little squishy stress ball Hulk guy. That's sweet, Spencer's gonna love that. He loves Hulk. Ha <laughs> uh, a boot Lego of Nelson from The Simpsons. Definitely not, not an official figure. There he is. Oh, is this a, it's a Joker pop vinyl? And it looks like he's from the Arkham games. Totally looks like the Arkham games, right? Or is that Injustice? No, definitely looks more, definitely looks more Arkham. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, hey, this is, uh, this is one of the samurai horses from the Ninja Turtles line, the most recent line. That, uh, is this the one that came with Usagi? I think it is, the blue one. That's pretty cool. Always cool to get an extra one of these. And it looks like there's a t-shirt in here. Oh, this is sweet. Doesn't look like it's my size. It's a medium, so it might be a little small, but it's Voltron, and that's pretty awesome. You guys are amazing. Thank you for thinking of me and sending along some cool stuff. This next one is hilarious. It actually just recently came to my PO box. It says, Pixel Dan, thanks again for the collecting videos. I had a blast at the Kane County Toy Show. I hope to run into you there one day. Thanks, Bob. Um, and yeah, again, I wasn't able to make it to the Kane County Show, uh, so Bob was hoping to run into me, but he sent me this instead. So it's the Honky Tonk Man. But do you notice anything about this packaging? Yeah, he customized the packaging for me, which first of all, I love these because they look like an arcade machine and they're a nod to the old WrestleFest arcade game, which I love, but look at that. So it says Pixel Dan at the top and that great retro font there. The bottom down here says the Pixel Tonk Man, <laughs> which is hilarious, but it gets even better. The side of the box has an altered image with this crazy mesh of my face and Honky Tonk Man's face, which is kind of creepy, but it's hilarious. And the back of the box has that same picture with some crazy stats, so check it out. Uh, from Springfield, height, six foot, that's a little taller, I'm around five foot 10. Uh, signature moves, the NECA neck breaker, the turtle shooter, and the finishing move, the mosquito blood pump handle slam. Amazing. Bob, this is so awesome. Thank you so much, man. All right, moving right along. We got another box here with a note that says, Pixel Dan, I've been watching you for a few, few years now and I love the content. I picked up a few things on the last day my local Toys R Us was open. I decided to get some frames and send them to you and a couple of my other favorite reviewers. I love how you have a place in your heart for slime, as do I. The He-Man Slime Pit was one of my favorite toys when I was a kid. I've included a couple slime barrels I picked up at Walmart that are pretty close in scale with the TMNT basic figures. 
Speaking of, I love your reviews on the 2012 series. I don't like the look of the new series, so I won't be picking any of them up. It seems like they have some kind of Frankenstein monster head thing going on, especially Donnie. I can totally see that. Um, he says, but I'm going to keep an open mind about the show. Keep up the good work, Sean Super Seansky. Sean, thank you so much. And there's some pretty cool stuff here. So first of all, he sent me a couple barrels of Silly Sludge, which, yes, I do love me some slime. Go watch my History of Slime video. Plug. The next thing in here is actually pretty amazing and pretty heartfelt. He grabbed one of the signs from Toys R Us the last day they were opened and he framed it for me. So that's just cool because it's a piece of toy store history. It's obviously one of the modern looks. Uh, it's got these kids on it. I don't know who these kids are, <laughs> but um, the fact that he grabbed a sign from his actual Toys R Us the last day that it was open and then put it in a frame for me is very, very thoughtful. And this is really cool because I own a piece of the store. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Here is another package that comes from a far, far away land. This is from my friend Ken over in the UK. Um, and I actually had asked him to pick up a couple things for me, but he sent me a few extra goodies. And I've been sitting on these for a long time because first of all, look, he sends me a Christmas card, which totally makes sense, right? Because it's the holiday season. But this is the best part. The inside says to Dan, Steena, and Spencer, happy holidays in June. He sent this to me in June with a Christmas card as a joke and I waited so long to open it that now the Christmas card just makes sense because it's Christmas time. <laughs> but thank you, Ken. I appreciate the sentiment. And he sent me some cool extra things in here. So first of all, he sent me this cool little card of a photograph he took of Baxter Stockman and some Mousers, which is awesome. And I got this awesome little painted rock with a Ninja Turtle on it, with Mikey on there. I don't know if you guys have these in your area. It's cool to see that you guys have them over in the UK too, but we find painted rocks like this all over my local town. Uh, my son loves finding them. And they're the kind of thing where you find them and then you can keep them or you can rehide them for other people to find. It's just a fun little thing. So a Ninja Turtles rock is pretty sweet. So these are the things that I asked him to pick up for me, and I've definitely shown these before, but these were exclusive only over in the UK. They are the combat packs, which have repaints of Mutagen Man and Fish Face were the ones that I love. I love these repaints so much. And I've gotten a set. He, got, he hooked me up with a set before. I asked him to find me another set because I liked them so much that I wanted to keep a set carded and a set to open. Um, I never did a proper video on them, so maybe someday I will revisit these. But thank you for grabbing these for me. I really appreciate it. But he also threw in a bonus. He got me some blind box letterbots. What? I didn't even know. Or blind bag, I guess, would be proper. I had no idea you guys were... So the letterbots have been around for a while. Or at least you guys have probably seen like the little Transformer-esque toys, which are letters. But I've never seen them in blind bag form like this before. So hey, look, Ooh, we got the little sheet right here. that shows you all the different characters. So in the first bag, it looks like I got the letter Q, which is pretty sweet. And let me see. How easy are these to transform? Are these easy? Yeah, these these have got to be easy. Let's see. Fold the fold is like okay. Wait, how, what, what's happening here? Okay, all right. <laughs> it, oh, that's it. Okay, yeah. So there he is. Bow, bow. Ah, it's awesome. It actually really reminds me of like the the McDonald's changeables, but instead of turning into food, they turn into the alphabet. Oh, and I got a V. So a V, a V and a Q. And let's see. Been awesome if I got like a P and a D. That would have been lucky. All right, so let's see. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, so it's super, super easy. Oh, I like this guy. There you go. Super easy transformations, but they're a lot of fun. Ken, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate the extra goodies you sent along. This looks like a fun little package here. I'm actually pretty excited about this. Okay, so there's a note in here that says, Pixel Dan and family. My wife and I have been watching your videos for a very long time now. Thank you for years, with a bunch of exclamation points of entertainment. We have had our Christmas toys and Creepy Santa spotlighted on Advent Calendar Madness, and I am now a patron over on Patreon. Thank you so much for the extra support, man. Enclosed is a small lot of toy-related comics. Hopefully you don't have them yet. Enjoy and keep up all the great work, Eric. So Eric, thank you for all of your support. It really, really means a lot to me. And uh, he also mentioned Advent Calendar Madness, and we are days away from the new one starting up. Oh my goodness. So he sent me a bunch of amazing comic books. Are you ready for this? Super Mario Brothers. Oh, I don't have this. And another Super... Oh my gosh. There's so many. 
The Adventures of Super Mario Brothers. The Adventures of Super Mario Brothers. Oh, these are amazing. I'm so excited to have those. Ooh, and then on the toy related stuff, we've got ooh, several issues of Air Raiders. Nice. So we got, what is that? Issue, oh, look at the popples ad on the back. Uh, so that's issue two, issue three, issue four, issue five. Ooh, here's more that I didn't have. Visionaries, issue one, issue two. Ooh, here's one of the more recent issues of Darkwing Duck. Oh, nice. Power Lords number one. More Nintendo. Game Boy. Ah, oh, how cool is that? Ooh, Robotics number one. Oh, awesome. Masters of the Universe number 10. Yes. This is the Star Comics ones, which I'm definitely trying to pick up. Got a little bit of dust on there. That's okay. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Uh, ooh, and then we got Micronauts, number 14 and number 15. These are amazing. Thank you for the comics and thank you for your support. Oh, I am so happy. I'm gonna, I, the comic rack is kind of off camera, but these are for sure going on the comic rack. I love them. Okay, here's a package of stuff I got from my buddy Eric up in Canada. Uh, I've opened stuff from him on the show before. Um, this is stuff I all actually bought from him, but it's too cool that I had to show off. Plus, he, he threw in a cool little extra for me. So, first of all, I've got some carded Swamp Thing figures because I've been wanting to get some more complete Swamp Thing figures. But what's great is since these are from Canada, they've totally got like the French uh, language on there, which is pretty awesome. So, um, I can't even read which version of Swamp Thing that is. <laughs> because <laughs> it's not in English on the front, except for the word Swamp Thing. Uh, but these are awesome. They're be in beautiful shape, really cool stuff. Love the Kenner Swamp Thing line. It's a line I am planning to cover at some point for Toy Explosion. Um, and then he sent me, before he sent me a bunch of various vintage Masters of the Universe board games, he found another one. Look at this, look at this. It's in French, I can't even read it, right? French? Yeah, I think so, but yeah. Yes, my my trace de luna. I can't. I'm not even gonna try because it's gonna sound really bad. But hey, look at that! Look at that! Oh, oh my gosh! I just this is cool. I love collecting the obscure stuff like this. Look at that game board! Oh, that's amazing! And uh, let me just get. I, I won't spend too much more time here because I got more to get through. Uh, but yeah, look at the little game pieces. They're just little cardboard cutouts, but the artwork is awesome. This is amazing, and I'm super happy to have it in my collection. But that is not all he sent me. So those are the things I got, but look at this. This thing, this thing sitting on my lap right here. You know what this is? This is a vintage Ninja Turtles sleeping bag. What? So I used to have, I actually used to have a He-Man one like this when I was a kid that was exactly like this, like the same material was just like this. Um, but I never had a Turtles one as a kid. I love that the artwork looks like the comic book Turtles, but like with the colored bandanas. This thing is, is awesome, I love it. And I think from now on I'm just gonna sleep in this. My wife's gonna be real happy about it. <laughs> this is a really fun box here. We're getting down to the end. This is a fun box here though. So, Letter Inside says, Although I'm not really a classic toy collector, I am a child of the 80s and have enjoyed watching your videos for years now, especially your reviews of toy lines from the 80s. My brother is a big Masters of the Universe fan and collector, and I've gotten many gift ideas from watching your reviews, so thank you for that. That is a really cool thing to hear. I will occasionally buy strange custom figures that various creators sell on Instagram and about a year ago made an impulse buy of the included figure. I was a big NWA wrestling fan in the 80s and although always rooted against the nature boy, there's no doubt he's an iconic wrestler who helped transform the wrestling business. So when I saw the small run of Ric Flair action figures done in the Masters of the Universe style, I couldn't pass him up. Props to the creator, Free Karate Chops on Instagram. He's been sitting on my shelf in my basement home movie theater for a while, but he really doesn't fit in with my movie props and posters, so I thought you could give him a good home, given your love for both wrestling and Masters of the Universe. Consider it a small token of my appreciation. Thanks for always brightening my day and countless others with your videos. Keep up the good work, Matt. Matt sent me this. So I remember seeing this figure on Instagram and Facebook. So massive shout out to the artist. The artist is Free Karate Chops on Instagram. Uh, but this is an amazing He-Man style Ric Flair action figure. And 
I love it. I mean, the details here. So first of all, he's got a big championship belt on. He's also got armor on his right arm that looks like the championship belt. He's got the jitsu right hand, you know, because of those knife edge chops that he gives. This thing is amazing, and I will absolutely give this a proper home in my collection because I love the 5.5 style, obviously. One of my favorite things to collect, and I love it. Thank you so much for such a thoughtful gift. And as I recall, I actually met you at RetroCon, so it was great meeting you, and thank you again. I love this. Okay, got a small package here with a note. Says, hey, Pixel Dan, just a quick note from a longtime viewer. My wife and I enjoy your videos, but my daughter thinks you're too cheesy. Hey. He goes on to say, what does she know? That's right. Keep up the good work, Eric from Portland. Here are two more food guys for your collection. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see what we got inside here. They're in this envelope and I haven't actually gotten these opened up yet. I just got the notes. So let's see what we got. Some red tissue paper. Oh, nice. Oh, sweet. He's like a little cherry dude. What's he from? Um, he's from 1988. Oh, nice. And this is uh, this is one of the um, little bendy lifesaver guys, which is awesome. I think I got a red one of these recently. I did not have an orange one. Uh, the cherry guy. Can you guys tell me what he's from? Because he looks super familiar. He's not one of like the other California raisins, because didn't they do some vegetables and stuff too and fruit maybe? Aside from the raisins? Or is he like high C or Tang? I don't know, but I love him. These are amazing. So thank you so much, man. I love them. I am down to the last box and it is a doozy of a box. This is just giant and it's heavy and I don't actually know what all's in here yet. So I'm gonna set this down on the floor in front of me as I'm clearing space with my foot because of everything else I've opened. Um, and we're gonna dig into this and see what we got here. All right, let's start with a note. Hey Pixel Dan, I hope this package got to you safely. First of all, I'm a big fan and have been watching your videos for seven years now. Inside this box is a random assortment of toys I've been collecting for you, Christina, and Spencer. I hope you guys enjoy everything. Keep up the good work, sincerely, Zach. Um, and I recognize this name, and I'm pretty certain Zach is also a supporter on Patreon. So Zach, thank you so much for all of your support and for this amazing giant box that I'm about to dive into here. Um, Wow, gosh, there is just so much going on here. So, oh my, let me get some of this. Um, oh my gosh, man, what, this is crazy. All right, let me get some of this paper out of the way. Let's start, okay. So first of all, I got a, I got a gift wrap package that says happy 10 years on YouTube. I found these guys at the Dollar Tree and had to, had to get them for you in honor of your very first video. I hope you enjoy them. He is of course referring to my bargain toy reviews video which was one of my very first, kind of like the first like Pixel Dan thing I tried to do way before I was Pixel Dan. It was just when I knew I wanted to do some of the toys. It's horrible, <laughs> but it's cool that he remembers. Oh my gosh, and it's perfect. <laughs> Dollar Store Ninjas, <laughs> which was totally the focus of that video. That That's really cool that this reminded you of that. So that's a good 10 year anniversary present. Thank you. Okay, what else we got in here? Wow, this thing is, okay. So here's something that's all wrapped up in a, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. This is totally one of those like uh, skeleton Halloween decorations, isn't it? It's like a skeleton dragon. And actually that scale is awesome. Oh, look at that articulated mouth and, and the tail. Ooh, that's sweet. That's what this is, right? It's one of those Halloween decorations. That's a good one. We got some old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles loot bags. These are old like birthday party bags from the retro line. And we got one of the Random House storybooks, The Return of Shredder. We got the best of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures, the animated series on DVD. I don't think I've watched this since I was a kid. That's awesome. Oh, I'm a big fan of the world of Nintendo. Uh, so check that out. We got the Super Mario Odyssey minifigure and the Chain Chop minifigure. And I didn't have either of these yet. Awesome. Okay, this, this is crazy. So he's got a note that says, I know you don't collect a lot of Transformers, but I remember you saying once that you do like the Dinobots and I know that Spencer likes dinosaurs. So I thought you would both like these. This is awesome. Look at this. So he sent me the Power of the Primes Grimlock, Sludge, Snarl, 
Swoop, Slug, and Slash. Unbelievable. I got an instant Power of the Primes Dinobots collection. These are amazing, and you are totally right. While I don't really collect a lot of Transformers, I do like the Dinobots. I have stared at this Grimlock multiple times in the stores trying to decide if it's something I really wanted to buy, because um, I do have a G1 Grimlock, um, and I have a, and I, see, this is the other thing. I'm terrible with the names. I have a G1 Slug, the Triceratops. Um, so this is amazing. And also my son is totally getting into Transformers stuff right now. He's got a couple of his own, like of the easy to transform Transformers. Um, and he's a huge Dinosaurs fan. So this is totally something we can experience together. So this was very thoughtful. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is something else uh, with a note on it that says, I remember getting this movie on VHS for Christmas when I was a kid, and it's been a favorite of mine ever since. I remember asking you on Facebook if you had ever seen it, and when you said no, I wanted to get you a copy. The original wind-up toys, peepers, the binoculars, and zoom the camera are pretty rare nowadays, so I got you reproductions of them. Since you all love Disney so much, I hope you enjoy this movie. Um, and I do remember you asking me about this now and I hadn't seen it and oh man, I'm trying to get the note off here without ripping it too much. Oh my gosh, it's taped on. Give me a second here. So the movie is Where the Toys Come From. It's a Disney movie and it's like a, it looks like a toys come to life kind of thing. But he also totally got me, look, he got me wind ups of like the little binoculars guy and get it out of the bag here. The little camera guy. Look at that. And they match up with this movie here. I've never seen this, but I am really excited to watch this now. And this is really cool. Wow. <laughs> hey, look at that. More slime. <laughs> we, got, we got some glow in the dark slime and some black slime. I can never have too much of this stuff. Oh, here we go. I thought you would like these Disney cups. Aladdin for Pixel Dan, the princesses for Christina, and the good dinosaur for Spencer. Look, because Aladdin's my favorite Disney movie. And princesses and, oh, good dinosaur. Awesome. This box just keeps going, this is crazy. Okay, so these are great. Uh, little dollar uh, package dudes, like they're basically plastic army men, but we got skeletons, a skeleton army, and a mummy army which is totally amazing. And we've got a little wind up bob -omb from Mario, which is super cool. And a McDonald's changeable. I was just talking about changeables. It's one of the dinosaur ones. Rawr! Love these. Still my favorite Happy Meal toys. Oh, hey, these are awesome. These are classic Disney Burger King collectible glasses still in the boxes. So we've got Jungle Book. We've got Pinocchio. Let me see if I can turn this one around. There we go. Pinocchio. And Pizza Pan! Okay, this just says, here's a bag of random blind bags for you guys. Oh my gosh. There are, there are so many in here um, that I'm not gonna open them all because right now on camera because this has already been a really long video. So let me pick a couple of them. I hope you understand. Oh, okay, so uh, Imagine X blind bags are amazing. This is from Series 8. <gasps> this is a good one, I didn't have him. It's Pizza Face, which yes, is a total homage to Pizza Face from Ninja Turtles. Like for real. Awesome, I did not have this one. These are some of the world's smallest uh, blind boxes. The world's smallest toys are actually really cool. Uh, so let's open some of these up. Let's open a couple of these up and see what we got in here. All right, ooh, I'm gonna have to tear the box to get to it. Oh, and it's in a blind bag inside of the box. Extra, extra blind. <laughs> All right, look, so we got a little tiny Barbie doll. <laughs> let's see, yep, so it, yep, just Barbie. That's <laughs> tiny, tiny little Barbie. And box number two, what will you yield? Another tiny little Barbie. <laughs> I got two Barbie dolls. Woohoo! Zomblings. Oh, these are these are awesome. Um, so these are little minifigure zombie guys. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before. Um, and Spencer's way into these, so I might even just let him open those up. There's a lot of blind bags, so I don't want to spend too much time opening blind bags. O M G, yes. Two-Face is my favorite Bat villain. I love the Imaginex stuff. So how could I not love the Two-Face SUV? 
<laughs> Look at that thing. That's incredible. Here are a couple things for Christina. Oh, hey. So she's gonna like that because she likes Tsum Tsum. So it's like a little, uh, like the painted things, you paint them up and uh, uh, what are they called? Sun catchers, there we go, sun catchers. Oh, look at that. It's an old Bambi, is it a VHS? Yeah, 2399. Oh wow, that's really cool. An old poster for the Bambi VHS. Oh, she's totally gonna love these. These are great. These are the Jada Toys diecast medals, but they're for Mickey's 90th anniversary. Very cool. Hey, hey, all right. Here's one we can share. I love it because this one's got Scrooge and Gizmo Duck in it. Yeah. And while we're at it, we'll do Ryu and or Ryu, Ryu and Ken from Street Fighter and The Undertaker. Oh, awesome. Hey, I had not picked up any of these new DuckTales figures. Uh, everybody kept asking me if I was gonna buy them and review them, and I, I, I kept passing on them in the stores. Um, because to be perfectly honest, a lot of the ones I were looking at had bad paint decos, so I was just skipping them. Um, let's open this one up right now. We're gonna check it out. He's pretty sweet. I do really like the sculpts on these guys, because I like the animation and everything on these. He definitely has some QC going on, like his torso's a little separated there, and there's some paint mishaps, but otherwise, he's very cool, and I'm glad to have one. So thank you very much for like, you, you put this guy in my collection. <laughs> Cause I, I couldn't bring myself to buy him, but I'm happy that I have him. Okay, at first I was like, why, why, why a baseball glove? Then I opened it. Also it was made by Remco. It's an old Remco Ninja Turtles baseball glove. That's awesome. Oh, holy cow. This is something else I've been wanting to pick up. It's the Fix-It Felix machine. Ah, oh, these are so great. I've actually reviewed several of these Basic Fun Arcade machines. This is one that I was gonna pick up. This is great. It's actually got the Fix-It Felix game on it, like the one that Disney made to go along with Wreck-It Ralph. It's incredible. I'm gonna wreck it. All right, we are finally down to the very, very bottom of this box here. So, um, here is, oh, this says, here are a couple of TMNT items for you and Spencer to put together. Those are really cool. These are like uh, mini 3D puzzles. Oh, very cool. These are cool. And the last things in the box, wow, these are pretty incredible. So we got the amazing Spider-Man book and record set. And we've got a Cinderella picture disc. Look how beautiful that album is. Um, so yeah, it's just got music from um, Cinderella, but it's got this amazing picture disc. Holy cow. Holy cow, Zach. That is too much stuff. But thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to Zach. Uh, but thank you to every single person because I know this was a really long video. Thank you guys for bearing with me while I open all this up. But you all have to understand how important it is for me to like really share with you when like this means a lot to me that you guys would go out of your way to like think of me when you find things like this and you want to send them to me so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to every single person um who sent me stuff thank you to every single person who continues to watch me here on this crazy channel talking about toys it's been a lot of fun a total blast and get ready holiday season guys we're in it Advent Calendar Minifigure Madness is starting very soon. Thanks for watching. Do the thing. Do the comments. Do the subscribe thing. Until next time, my friends.